Hi, I'm Diana from Snag Baby and we're talking about miscarriage. We're still talking about the first trimester miscarriages and another one that you might have heard of is ectopic pregnancy. This is when you've had a conception but the embryo embeds somewhere other than in the normal place, i.e. the uterus. The most common type of ectopic pregnancy is what we call a tubal pregnancy where it actually stops in the fallopian tube. But you can also have it that's gone into the cervix or it's gone into a previous caesarean wound or it can actually be not anywhere in the uterus area at all and actually in your abdomen. None of them are that good and you can't transfer a tubal pregnancy or any other pregnancy into the right place unfortunately. Um, quite often you first present with a lot of terrible pain, usually on one side or the other of your abdomen, and you can have very heavy, heavy bleeding. Anything like that, you must get help. Go and seek some help from somewhere, um, because if the tube does actually burst, it can be life-threatening, um, because the bleeding can be very, very heavy. Sometimes they're able to remove just a pregnancy from the fallopian tube, but occasionally they do have to remove the actual fallopian tube itself. Um, it all depends, it's very much on the situation at the time. Um, certainly in the abdomen, if there's a pregnancy in the abdomen, which is very rare, um, that is very dangerous for the pregnant person. So you would not be advised to continue with that pregnancy. The risk of having an ectopic pregnancy is about one in 80. You've got a higher chance if you've had a previous ectopic pregnancy. In fact, your midwife should actually be referring you for an early scan to rule that out if you had a, a previous one. If you've had uh, or have got uterine, ovarian or fallopian tube infection, uh, you've had previous fallopian tube surgery, uh, previous abdominal surgery, in fact, uh, appendicectomy or C-section, that can increase the rate, endometriosis, you're a smoker, or you're under 18 or above 35 years old. Those have been shown to be factors that can increase the rate of um, ectopic pregnancies. Uh, it's very difficult to know for sure it is an ectopic pregnancy and sometimes they'll have to do a keyhole surgery where they just go and have a look in um, under general anaesthetic uh, to diagnose it. And it could be, like I said, they might have to remove the tube or they could just remove the ectopic pregnancy. Um, but won't know till they get there.